Welcome. I'm, uh, I'm Greg, the founder of Get Oiling. Uh, Coach Ashley won't be joining us today. We, uh, she's got something else going on. So what I'm going to be doing is um, covering some of the how-to of what, um, you know, Ashley covered a lot of the strategy last week, so I'm going to be diving into the how-to. If you want to, go ahead and leave uh, where you're coming from in the chat, and then, uh, you know, we can welcome you here. And uh, just for some quick, some quick background, this is the Get Growing weekly work session. Uh, it's a weekly training open to any Young Living distributor. You don't need to be a customer. Um, if you're not a customer already, you can get started for just a dollar by going to getoiling.com. So every week here we cover strategy, hands-on training, or how to, uh, to help you grow your Young Living business. And if you have any questions for, uh, from last week's session, if you're around, uh, please put them in the chat or Q&A and we'll get ready. I, I can cover those at that time, uh, at the time that makes sense here. So hello to Glenn in Texas and Floyd in Virginia and Melissa in South Dakota uh, and Susie from the UK. And uh, thank you all for joining me today or tonight as the case might be uh, for some of you uh, abroad. So I'm going to start out by diving into the, uh, let me share up my screen like I was doing before. And there we go. Okay, cool. So we've got our, uh, this is the Get Oiling Back Office. I'm sure you're familiar with that, but we're going to be going through how to customize your website and some of the options that are available here. So with that in mind, I'm going to, let's move some of these bars out of the way. We've got, um, so when you get first get started with the system with Get Oiling, you get a uh, website kind of right out of the box. There's really, once you sign up, there's almost nothing you have to do to have a functional website because it walks you through inputting your member number uh, immediately and then you immediately have a website. So this website and this demo account that I have here has been customized a little bit. So uh, but the main place to go is over here under the My Site menu and you're just getting started. The Customize My Site link and the My Story and Photo link. Uh, under the Customize My Site, this is uh, the main important part of getting your, if you want to use one of the built-in websites, uh, the website themes, that's, that's where you can go here. So make sure to have your member number in there. Um, you can put in a header and choose one of our, the many landing page, or sorry, the website themes like body systems, basic oils, whatever. And these vary based on what country that you're in. Um, or a landing page, you can come over here and, well, I should say, and a landing page because you can put them both on at the same time. And so uh, down here, there, there are some options to customize the website theme. If you wanna use that, there's a customize button, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, every, every website, uh, the pre-built website comes with an opportunity page. And if you wanna put a custom UR, or custom video on there, you can. Um, and I'll also show what that looks like here in a little bit as well. And uh, feel free to plug in all your social media sites, visit them on your desktop browser and copy and paste the link in here and that will put you there as well. And so I'll, let me show you the website theme. So like right now, I'll click view my site and this is almost out of the box. This is I think the culinary theme, is that, oh, the dietary oils theme. And for this, for this demo account that we've got here. Now it's customized a little bit. There is an about me section, the my story and photo, which I'll um, show you here in a little bit. It also has a secret little feature that not many people know about with it, which is a uh, extra section. I'll show you that as well. This one has a website, or sorry, it has an event on the page, which shows up here, and then the rest is the website theme. So the easiest change for those, you know, just getting started is to pick a different website theme. For example, I'll, pop, I'll, I'll switch it over to Healthy Homes and click Save, and then I'll go back over here and scroll back up and refresh, and you'll see that your, the website theme has changed to Healthy Home. It has all the elements that you've customized on it too, which is great, so you don't have to redo that. Like you've got your, uh, your story and photo continues to show up any custom sections, the events, um, anything else that you've done to it, but you can see the rest of the website theme has changed here as well. Um, so that's probably the most basic customization you can do. And you can go a little bit further if you like the theme, but you maybe want a different image on there, that's where this customize button comes in. And you can actually go ahead and uh, put different website images in here as well. So if, for example, if you wanted to, and this is just kind of a, you know, an, an image here, probably not something you'd want in there, but I'll save this. Um, and then if I go back over here and refresh the site, now you're gonna see that the first photo is this, uh, this particular website image that I had uploaded there. So, and all the other theme photos are still behind them. It's just 
you know, the first ones, you can load more than one as well and uh, reorder them too. So if you get more than one, you can actually drag it around and position them. Um, and if you're, if the background is dark and the menu doesn't show up well, you can just check this little box and it'll actually change how the heading looks, you know, which I can probably actually demo here quick. Let me click dark and, and then hit save on the bottom and it will change the header to be a little bit different. It puts a black bar behind it. It's just gonna have to play around with the image like this independent distributor is a very, you know, more challenging to read right now. It just kind of depends on your image. But so yeah, so those are some of the basic ways to, to uh, customize. If you would like something below the about me section, and I don't, I'm not sure offhand if this is on all plans or not, I don't remember, but there's this little advanced settings link down here on the customize my site page where you can actually uh, add a custom section. And you can see here this little testing one, two, three that shows up down here. That's actually just a part of this custom section. So this is a, a great way, like if you wanna insert your monthly promos or if you wanna do something, something special, something different on there to really make it stand out, you can, you can certainly do that. Um, and there's some sharing images as well here too. If you wanna you know, customize how it shares to Facebook, you can play around with that too. So those, that's basically your, your uh, built-in website themes and how to play around with those. So those, um, I'll be going into like the custom website builder a little bit as well. Um, and the, uh, actually I'll start with the My Story and Photo because that's an important, important part as well. Um, you want to, you know, provide some sort of story for yourself. Yeah, you know, just click on the My Story and Photo, upload your photo give yourself a headline and um, write some story text to go with that so that people know that they've, you know, connected with the right website um, and that, you know, learn a little bit about you so that they, you know, you're the big reason that they're going to be joining your team. So you want to uh, elaborate a little bit on, on that and maybe uh, say who you're looking for, the type of, you know, what your mission is, that, that sort of thing. So that uh, those sort of people will be attracted to you and uh, join your team that way. So as you can see, this uh, the My Story section appears down here in this sort of format. Your photos here, your stories over here, the headlines up here, and then there's always a contact me button at the bottom. This one has a consultation link in there, which just you know clicks off to a third party service called Calendly that lets you do calendar booking. Uh, if you wanna do that, just as an idea, some people do that. Um, so that's, yeah, that, that's the other part of the uh, built-in website themes as well. So. Moving on from that, um, there's, there's a couple different options for if you wanna add custom pages to your website and customize your menu. This website actually has the, cust the menu customized here and it's probably, um, yeah, it's got a lot, of it, a lot of items in here. And you know, it's, it says learn twice, this probably isn't a great idea, but I can, you know, I'll, I'll dive into the menu here in a little bit. So uh, if you wanna change up how the menu looks, that's under my site settings over here. Can click on that and scroll down to site menu and click on that. And then here's um, here's the menu. So, and actually, I think the reason the reason that there's two learn menus probably wasn't a good choice on this demo. I'll, I'll let me change this header here. I'll change this to site menu. The reason there's two learn menus is that any time that you have, I'll go back over here. Now there won't be true learn menus. Oops, did I get the timing on that wrong? Maybe I, or I didn't say, oh, I didn't actually change it from, <laughs> I actually have to make sure it changes there, site menu and done and um, save. Oh, it didn't update it here. Anyway, these are, you know, this always happens live when I'm, I'm doing things like this. So I'll, uh, but anyway, so there's always a learn menu. Whenever you're using a built-in theme, there's a learn menu that has uh, links within the page. So like, you know, product guide, it'll scroll down to there or the, the, the Why Young Living section or products for a healthier household, that sort of thing. Um, the other menu is the one that is, you've added there. And, and so that's what shows up back here. So that's why there's two parts. So if, you're, if you have a custom page, which I'll get to in a little bit, that, that built-in learn menu doesn't show up, but it always shows up on the built-in themes because it goes with the themes and helps people navigate. So with the menu, normally the way it, it works, um, what I'll do here, I'm just going to delete all of these so I can start over and show you what it looks like from scratch, uh, what the built-in menu looks like. So I'll go ahead and save this and hopefully this will take this time here. Okay, so yeah, you can see that the, um, 
the menu is now a little bit different. It's spread across the page a little bit here. Excuse me there. So this, um, this menu is what comes with the system automatically if you don't customize your menu. It has uh, the learn menu, which goes with the theme. Um, you can switch countries. And if you have a blog post, the blog will show up there. The blog link will show up here. You have to have your own blog post. Um, the auto blog does not show a blog link. That actually shows up under the updates area. Um, if you have the auto blog turned on, that's under learn and updates. That's where that shows. And then the opportunity page and then contact me and place an order. So those are all the default links. Um, speaking of opportunity, sorry, I forgot to cover this when I mentioned it and I must've put in a broken video, but the, uh, this is where you can put in the custom video if you want to. There's a nice video that comes with it. This one is a video that uh, apparently is no longer available, uh, but you can customize this with that customize your site link um, in the custom video URL. So if you wanna put your own, your own message in here, the reason you, know, you joined, uh, joined Young Living and became a uh, business builder, you know, put your story here. I think we've got some training on that as well in our back office if you want more details on that. Back to the menu here. Let me go back over to this previous page. So if you want to customize it, you'll first have to start by adding a menu header. And that's, you know, with, that's the only option that you can add now. So I'll, I'll go in here and I'll make one maybe just called site menu. And, um, and actually there is, let me show you this too. So there is a link, a link if you have a totally blank menu, there is a quick shortcut here where you can click and it'll add some custom menu items. Um, but what I'll do in this case is just um, add something here. And so I'll go go site menu and show this, show you how this is done. So the, the menu header is really, you know, I, you have to have at least one menu header. There are more menu item types that show up later when you um, have those, uh, when you have a, a menu header available. I'll show you that in a minute. If you want it to link somewhere, you can, but if you leave it blank, it just becomes a menu header, and if they click on it, it doesn't do anything. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit done. And now I'll add a menu item to it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and like, now you can see there's many items in here. We can add a link, uh, just simply a label, a website page, the blog archive, individual blog posts. There's all sorts of, all sorts of content that can be linked in here pretty easily. And so under this menu now, I'll go ahead and I'll add like, I'll just pick a few things. Like I'm gonna add the blog archive and you have to give them a, a name, so like blog. You can choose like, is this gonna be opening in the new window? And there's even an option here you can make, you know, there are certain types that you can make the main page for your website and blog archive is one of them. If this little checkbox appears, you can actually make it the main page for your website. So you can go, you know, if you really want to, um, we've had some, some training on attraction marketing you can make a different page, like a custom page, the main page for your website, and then um, basically put the Young Living information a little bit down the line as people become introduced to you and the products that you have available here. So I won't do that here. I'll just, you know, just wanted to highlight that. Uh, I'll go ahead and add blog, and then maybe I'll add uh, events as well, the event list, uh, and then, say like uh, probably the contact me. I forgot to add the name to this one here. So this, this would appear. So I, I go back here and type events. Um, and then I'll add also probably want to do the YL sign up link on there as well. Place an order and done. And actually that one is probably a good one to open in a new window as well so that it leaves the website intact because that does actually go over to Young Living's website. So now I'll, I'll go ahead and hit save and I'll refresh this now and we should have the site menu that has all of the links in there. They go to the blog, the events, you know, like pop up the contact me box uh, and, and the place in order which will pop it over to Young Living and, and let them sign up from there. So, and you can add multiple headers. So like if you want to have multiple pull downs, so I. I'll just say like, um, you know, so one example of this might be uh, if you change the, the menu header to be products and maybe you want to add another one. Again, that's not saving for some reason. Um, but if you want um, the other one to be like, um, let's say business, you can do that. And let's see, whoops, I need to actually make that a menu header, change that to business. Hit done. So now there's a business header here and let's just say that we want to add our opportunity page underneath business. 
I'll add that here and hit done. And whoops, I forgot to put it in the business section. So that's what I did. I clicked on it and then show under the menu header and click business. And now that'll move it down under here. If you want to reorder these, you can, like if you want events first or uh, contact me above blog or blog first, or what, you can just drag and rearrange those. Um, and so I'll go ahead and save. And now we have a, if I refresh again here, we'll have two, the site menu in the business here, they, they each have the menu items under them. And uh, so there's one other little uh, trick, and I get this question from time to time. Like if you want to have a top level link to sort of mimic the menu that's built in, if you recall across the top, it had like blog and opportunity and all that. There is a way to do that. And to do that, click add, pick the menu header type here. And then in this link URL, there's a little tip here. If you hover over the eye, it actually, there are some tags there that you can type in if you want to create a top level link that has uh, you know, the starter kits page or the opportunity page or the blog, you can just type those tags in here. So in this case, let's say if I wanted the blog archive, I would have to type in that specific thing, uh, that, that, that tag that's noted here with the brackets and then hit done. I won't save this one, but then it would create a new blog link at the top. So. That's one way uh, of, of doing that to be able to recreate the built-in menu if you don't like the pull-down style as you customize your menu. So that's how you uh, dive in and, and customize the menu. I'll, I'll leave this be here. So the next part that uh, goes with this is a, uh, the custom page builder. And so what I'll do is I'll show you like the page builder and how that works. And then there's a customer of ours from uh, Singapore who's actually let us uh, volunteered to let us look at or demo her website and um, she's done a fantastic job of cr creating a completely custom website actually doesn't even really use that many uh, pages from us they've all been created recreated inside the website builder to match her look and feel so she really went above and beyond and did an excellent job and so I wanted to highlight that and maybe give you a little bit of behind the scenes on how that um, is set up as well so the website page builder is under my site settings and that's under custom pages, which is right next to the site menu. So you can click on that. And you can see we, you know, this, we've got a number of different pages in here. I'm gonna create a new one. And there are several templates you can choose from. You can, if you wanna start from total scratch, you certainly can. Um, the other option is you can choose from one of our templates that we have here. Uh, depending on what you wanna do, like if you want an about me page, for example, I'll just choose this personal info one. Um, we've got some that are, are good for photo galleries, resources, um, product info, just simply, this one might be good for video, like dropping a little video in there, but I'll go ahead and click on personal info and the page builder will load here. And so what this, uh, this is basically a click and edit sort of situation. You can click here, let's say you wanna modify this or add, you know, headline, that sort of thing. Um, you can change your font. You know, we, I think we went over font training uh, several weeks ago, like if you wanna, want to do something like that and apparently you know you can change color as well under the the little drop so um, all sorts of things you can do with this you can add links in here um, if you want to so so generally just stepping back a moment it's it's more or less an editor that's similar to a word processor it looks a little bit different and works a little bit differently um, but the concepts are are quite similar so the, the page builder works like this. So there are these sections, and as you can see, I hover between these, it adds a little plus. That's what, like I can add sections to the website and each section consists of like a little different layout. Um, and you can add them anywhere on there by hovering or click the add button lets you add a section too. But let's say I wanna add a section right here. Um, I'll hover over that and it pops up a little box and lets me choose from these number of different sections that are available. Um, different formatting. Let's say I want to put a little image gallery in here, or you know, there's maybe it's a header. There's some headlines that you can choose, and different image layouts. Um, so I'll just do like this one here, with three column, no header. And what that'll do is then it'll insert this section in here, and you can go ahead and change this. Like um, you know, maybe you want this to be product one, and then you could go down here and. Uh, click on the photo and then click replace and then choose what a photo of that product. And likewise, you could do product two or maybe it's service. 
Um, if this is about you, then perhaps this is service one, uh, just, you know, service two, however you want to do it. But basically it's, it's really up to um, your imagination at this point. You can really totally customize this. And when you're done with it, you can add it as a page on your website or you can, um, you can leave it off your website, in the menu I mean, and uh, send it out to people. For example, it, there are some lead generation options here as well um, that I'll dive into in a little bit. But one other thing I wanna mention, like you see some, in some of these places you see buttons, those labels can be edited. If you wanna add your own buttons, let's say like, um, we'd wanna add another one here for some reason. There's a little plus section over here or plus icon you can click that and what that does it adds something to that section and then it you know you've got all sorts of options that you can do here uh, buttons all sorts of buttons in different colors and sizes and and uh, different labels quotations different call outs headers dividers so you can you can really uh, you know add all sorts of interesting things in there so maybe what i'll do is i'll just put in um, this label like here you know, I'd say welcome, something like that. Um, but yeah, you can you can totally change it up. And actually, the the site that I'm going to be demoing, they use this little button to uh, as kind of a visual thing. They increase the font size uh, somehow and uh, made that work for them. So I'll show you that in a little while. And this is one other neat thing if you want to, let's say you do have a page that has products on it. Let's just say this is product one over here. Uh, and you wanna create a link to Young Living for it. This is a relatively new addition. The little toolbar has a leaf icon that lets you insert a YL link with a member number on it. With your member number, I should say. So all you have to do in this case to, uh, if you want to, do, to add a link, let me do that. So you just go to your youngliving.com. Um, find a product on there that you want to use. So maybe I'll come in here to essential specials. Let's say you want to highlight the, uh, this looks tasty here. So I'll grab this, just right click and copy that link. Go back over to the page builder and I'll just say, I'm going to click this and paste it in. And now it has created this link that includes your sponsor and enroller number in there. So if they go ahead and click on that, your visitor clicks on that, it's going to take them to uh, the Young Living page, but it'll pass along their number. So what I'm going to do there, whoops, is I will, um, that menu keeps popping up. I'm going to highlight this, and because I want it to be a link on product one, I will just right click and cut, and then I'll highlight uh, the name of the product and click insert link, and then paste in this link that it provided to me. And then now this link, if I can go ahead and test it, I'll click open link. It's going to open it up up there and you can see their sponsor and enroller numbers on there as well. So that's how you, how you do that if you're building a product page. Um, and you can even, you know, on here, this, this uh, site doesn't have it, but you could add video. Like if I wanted to add a video in here, instead of that photo, let's go ahead and click video, insert or paste in the URL from, you know, you go to YouTube, for example, grab one of the URLs from a video, just copy it from your browser's address bar, paste it in here, hit insert, and then you'll have your video show up there too. So kind of neat. You can really uh, personalize it with video however you want to. So uh, next I'm going to hop into the, you know, if you, anyone has any questions, whatever, let me know. Uh, I do see one in the Q&A here. Let's see. So how can I give directions or provide a button for a viewer who clicks on a link that takes them to another tab to easily come back to my site? Uh, that's something that you probably have to put like before the link, um, just I was just thinking of this offhand. It really isn't a great option. Um, you know, there, there's some there's a technical thing called framing that only works sometime, and it's not a great user experience. So, really, I think the the best option would be to um, to do something where there's a you know there's some maybe some text on a site where it says, okay, if you're gonna, you know, click here to order and then make sure to come back to this tab um, to, you know, contact me or something like that. So hopefully that, that helps uh, Jim there. And Melissa asks, can you add a link for products to the blog post the same way? Yes, you can. It's exactly the same as the, uh, as the leg build, or sorry, as the page builder. Um, if I go back over, and actually I'll just open in a new tab so I don't lose my work here in case I'll save this later. But if I go back over to uh, a blog post and I'm writing a blog post, 
then yes, there's the, um, there's this insert while link with my member number. I think I still have that pasted in there. Actually, I'll delete my sponsor number off of there, but just so it's got the, the, you know, this truffle and hit insert and there it does. It goes ahead and inserts that link. And the other way you can do it is, uh, I showed you one way of doing it, which is like cutting the link and then editing it in a different spot, but it does insert a link. So you can just, another way of doing that is you can click the link click edit and then change the text that you want to appear. Cause by default, the text is the link itself, which can be kind of ugly, but if you want it to be chocolate truffle and open it a new tab and update, then you can see that I'll update there. So this works in blogs. It works in page, the page builder. It works on landing pages. It basically works anywhere. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. Melissa, let me know if you have any follow up questions. Um, I'll bail out of the blogging and go back over here. The, um, so now for the lead capture part of this, I mean, so a great use of a custom website or a custom page on a website is if you want to replace your, um, if you want to replace your main page with one that's maybe more about you, maybe something like this, highlighting what you do and the outcomes that you achieve more so than listing the products right away. You know, if you're going down the attraction marketing uh, road, then you can, then you can do that. So um, the lead capture options under settings here on the page builder, and there's a few other things too. I mean, you do, I mean, this is on every page, it should have a name because this shows up to you. Uh, it's not shown to the visitors, but the title bar text is what shows up here. You can see like with this page, it says page title goes here. So that's something that you can type in there. Like if you want this to be about, and then you have your name on there or, or my name. Uh, and then what you do, you know, maybe your wellness at wellness, um, something, whatever, but come up with that. You can, the link path, this is only important if you're not using it for your homepage, um, because then this will show up in the URL. So, uh, you know, instead of my page, you could have it be something. And anything that you put in the link path actually is, uh, it's helpful to search engines as well, so that helps them categorize the content. There's a few other options here about whether to show the header and menu, the footer and whether or not it's published, you can unpublish a page. For example, if you want to take something down, if it's a limited time, that sort of thing. I mean, you could also delete it, but if it's um, something before, you know, if you want to take down after a certain date, you can do that as well. So uh, pages can also be, these options really here are for using a page as something maybe it's like secret on your website. You've got a secret link that you have on your site that um, you, know, you don't want, want Google to see, then that's whether you could choose this by link only. Uh, and then maybe you don't show the header so people can't go away. You don't show the footer. And basically then it's just the content that you have on your page uh, without anything else. And then combining that with lead capture, you could do something, you know, so like this is essentially the, how you would, could create one funnel or one type of funnel inside of Keto Oiling uh, marketing funnel. It's just a way, a, a way to, uh, it's designed to help people register and, and help you obtain leads. So to the lead capture settings, this is what I want to show you here. So uh, the website page builder has a little pop-up box as an option um, for lead capture. And you can, you can choose what appears in that lead capture box by putting in a headline, um, a message. You can see this one has a message in here. And you can even choose what fields they have to fill out and what the labels are and whether or not they're required and add custom fields too. So you could ask them, for example, are you already a Young Living member? Um, that sort of thing, you can, you can go ahead and add all that. And you can even choose when this lead capture box is shown. Um, you know, when they try to move away from the page, this is a pretty popular one. You've probably seen this one where you like try to, if you can see my mouse pointer here, it's like once you try to mouse out of the page, it'll pop up the box right away. Um, or you can set it so that if they scrolled past a certain percentage or they spent so much time, a certain amount of time on the page, it'll automatically pop up the box. Uh, in addition, there's a little bit of text here that shows like if you want it to be triggered by a button, you can link to this hashtag lead and then it will pop up to button. So I will, um, I'll show you this. So this one's going to be my, what are we going to call this? I'll, I'll call this page transform lives and I'll change the link path to be the same. It'll automatically populate like that. So Okay, I will do this. Um, I'll show everything here. Undo that, and I'll show you how this works. And it even so that I'll cover some of this other a, a little bit here in a second. So, like, if I want this button to open up the uh, the lead capture box, I can edit the link and make sure 
well, this is a template, so it was already filled in. But make sure that it goes to this hashtag lead, uh, and then that will trigger the box. So I'll, I'll go ahead and save this now and view it. And you can see here's the page. It's got the, the title up here. And as you can see, I, I moused up here and that I had it set when they try to leave the page and it pops up the box. So here it is, it displays what they, um, what it basically was said to, set to get this free download uh, after you enter your name and email and phone is not required. So going back over here, there's a few more settings uh, that are useful here. So you can uh, automatically tag people as they come in as they're registered, so you know where they came from. For example, you could tag them as uh, the Transform Lives lead, for example, just by creating Transform Lives lead. Just by typing a tag, it automatically springs into existence. So you can do that, or you can choose from any of the other ones that might already be in your account. And you can even choose which campaign um, to follow up with them. Now, a best practice with creating some, with something with registration, like if you have, in this case, this free steps guide, uh, it's a good idea to, you know, you, you'll send them to it. So it actually does send them to the to the specific download after they register. But it's also best practice to create a campaign that will also email them or text them, uh, whatever it is that they registered. Because I'm sure this has happened to you where you're scrolling through Facebook or something and, you know, you have 30 seconds and you're standing in line or whatever. And you see an interesting ad, you go ahead and register, but you don't have time to read whatever it is that they're giving you for free. So it's just a good idea to, to follow up with an email and or text with the campaign. And that's based on whether they register by email or phone or whether they put in their email or phone when they register. Uh, you can also actually create this page so that it sends people to a vault, which is really, uh, really kind of cool. Cause what that'll do, uh, if you have your member area set up and there's a whole other training on that that you can find in our, uh, on our YouTube channel, but you can set people up so that they can, get access to specific vaults in your member area. So this can be great for a number of purposes, like if you want to have, uh, if you have a new pro or a prospects vault, you might not call it that yourself, but a, a vault for where prospects go, you could set up this page so that it's got some information about that. And like maybe the, maybe the page is set up and your offer here is, hey, do you wanna join, uh, or do you want access to my secret resource page about how to, uh, or you know, my complete resources page, or maybe it's recipes or something, whatever you have in your member area. Uh, just if you do go ahead and sign up below and that will get, get them access to your member area and you can just choose whatever vault that it is that you want um, to put them in when they register. It can be more than one as well. So there's a few other things you can tweak here as well, but that's basic. Those are the, the highlights. Um, if you have somewhere other than, you know, to send them to, but one thing I should note is if this box is blank, what it's gonna do is just say thank you after they register. So you probably wanna put something in here and send them to maybe another page. So this is where sometimes, you know, you could draw it out and say, or, you know, at least envision it in your mind, like, okay, they're gonna start on this page. They're going to get this email campaign. They're going to uh, then go to this final thank you, maybe create a thank you page and then uh, send them to that as well when they're done. So that's the, the lead capture side of that. And, um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you one of our uh, customers in Singapore who has created a pretty awesome website um, using Get Oiling. So what I'll do here is grab the URL for that and paste it in here. It's called, the, the website's called thelightgoeson.com. And this is all built with the website editor in Get Oiling. And uh, you know, so this is, I think, a background image in here and I can dive into that a little bit and show you maybe the, how that works without uh, saving anything inside the account to make sure that it it works. But as you, you know, you could recognize this. This is that button element, like um, in the page editor. I think that's this, except maybe with a larger font. Oops, that's not the editor. I guess I gotta you know come over here and highlight all this maybe and uh, choose a different font to make that bigger. But anyway, I think that's I think that's kind of along the lines of what they did here. And uh, to make that happen, that's the background image on this section, which is actually, I should, that reminds me of this. There's this little button here when you're editing a page. You can choose the background color and make it either an image or a color. So you can choose from, I'm not sure if you can see the little color picker or not, but you can choose the background um, color to go with that, or you can actually set an image as well if you want that specific image. 
um, set as the background. So I believe that's what they've done here. Now as we scroll down, well, actually the site menu has quite a number of items in it, and I believe most of these are custom pages. But you know, just scrolling down, you can kind of recognize the elements maybe from a, a couple minutes ago when I was showing the editor. But you know, there's the divider here and the headline, and they've got a three column photo. These are actually just photos that, you know, it's a three column layout, I believe, with some photos in there. And uh, just this orange button, which they have linked up to go to a different page, which is an about page. And as you can scroll down, you can see, well, I've got the upcoming classes and events, and they even put in a nice video here, right from Young Living, um, as well as another one here. And they have went through and kind of uh, redid. It's, it's sort of a, actually kind of a spin on the built-in website themes that Get Oiling has. It's just customized for this person's look and feel. So uh, as you can see, some of these, I don't know if you can see that link in the lower left. It might be a little small, but it basically links to the Young Living uh, Singapore website with this person's sponsor and enroller number lift, uh, put in there just for uh, whatever product. So found some nice graphics, uploaded them, put in some links. This Get Started Now, I think, goes to the Young Living signup page. They even created their own starter kit page. Um, and these actually go right to the Young Living site too. A promotion page for monthly info and uh, I get updates. So like if I click, a, you know, go to the site menu here now and I go to about, well, this will switch over to, um, you know, it's got, they've got a nice video here and, you know, kind of explains their, their why and has a nice diagram here. So they've done a really, really wonderful job of flushing this out and, and making a really cool looking website with the builder. And, you know, I think that as far as like the pages that, you know, let me click on some more of these. So like if I go to the, the who, you know, kind of goes through the individuals that are behind this and uh, upcoming events. I believe this upcoming events, this is the built-in Get Oiling upcoming events page that shows, you know, the events that they have coming up along with their story. Super cute. And uh, resources, I think this is another page that they put together. These are their their resources. They, uh, I'm not sure if uh, they have the, the uh, member area set up here. Uh, Articles, I believe this is the blog, the built-in blog here. And, you know, they've just have another, a number of other items here too. Oh yeah, I'll show you the custom starter kit page they put together too. Um, so, you know, they got the benefits and, you know, some, they even have a page about the, the ER program here too, along with their custom pictures. So it's uh, really pretty cool, pretty cool what they've put together here. And it's just a, a huge number of pages in the back office or that they put together in, yeah. So I'm gonna switch over to here um, to that website and show you the page builder. I'm pausing the share momentarily while I go in there because I don't wanna show any contact information. Um, so I'm gonna go under my site settings here and go into custom pages. And let me resume share. Okay. so. These are the pages that you can see that they've created. And um, so yeah, like, you know, the, let's see, what would that be? Is that, I think it's, I think this is their home page right here, this human animal wellness. Yes, this is. So just to kind of see what's behind it. So I'll go over here and I'm, you know, like if I click edit section background, um, I believe that is a, uh, one of the images that they have here somewhere. I'm not seeing it offhand but that's, uh, you know, they're using a background image on that. And this here is just the button. Um, and you know, you can manipulate that however you like. This is a new section here. Uh, it's just kind of interesting to see how this is put together. These three columns, three photos, um, the learn more button, for example, that links to the about page. And you know, this is another button here with a, I believe another background, uh, wherever that one, you know, like, here, I think that's that particular image. Um, but yeah, it's just all nice. And one thing, like if you have a video, you can actually resize it too. This is just one little tip that pops to mind. So you can you can click the little handle on there and drag it to however, whatever size makes sense for uh, you and your viewers there. Um, yeah, so that's, and as far, I don't think they have any lead capture set up, um, honestly. Um, Maybe they do. Okay, they've got a new subscriber here. I haven't played around with the lead capture at all to see if that's that's turned on at all. But um, yeah, so it's a little peek behind the scenes. 
the other, uh, if I go back to the page list here, I think you know these other pages are set up very similarly, but the other thing I'd like to show is the site menu and how that works and how, the, how that's set up for them. So if I go under site menu, so they have uh, a very large site menu with a number of items on there and you can see they have a couple of options. So like they have this home page set, uh, this website page set to be the website main page. That's why when you go right to um, the lightgoeson.com, it does pull up this page instead of the built-in website theme. Because we do have themes in Singapore, um, but they've chosen to make this page their own. Let me close that tab. Um, so yeah, that, that's one thing. So like to add a website page, for example, when you're adding an, an item here and you choose it as a page type, you can actually choose from all the pages that you have created in your back office. And then, um, so yeah, you pick first the type of page and then you pick the page that you actually want and then it'll go ahead and put that on the list and pull up that specific page when you save it. So I'm not gonna save anything here. Obviously this is their specific, um, their back office. I don't wanna change anything that I don't want to, but I just wanted to demo that. That's a, a really nice, uh, really nice system that they have, really nice website. So, so with that, yeah, certainly uh, let me know if you have any questions, pop them in the chat. I, there's a couple of other things I wanna demo here, or at least uh, mention that are new and, um, I'm going to actually go back into the demo account here, so I'm not I'm not in their back office. Uh, let me change here um, to who I want to see. Okay, let me resume share back over to our demo account. Now, there's uh, speaking of built-in website themes, you'll notice this um, when you're in customize my site, I believe. No, actually, this won't this won't show up here. Uh, I think this will probably show up under leg builder links. We now support, there's three more countries that we're supporting. Um, I mean, this technically this list is, as far as the themes, let me show you over here. So if I go to getoiling.com, whoops, uh, slash FAQ, which is the FAQ tab over here, we now have, so the countries that we support, and these are built-in websites. Technically, we support every country in the world, really, that Young Living is in just that these are the ones we have the pre-built website themes for. So, um, which is towards the earlier part of today's call, showed you how to customize those. So the US has the most website themes. Then we have Australia and Canada and Singapore. We've had those for a while, but most recently we've added uh, Hong Kong, Macau, and Malaysia um, based on some demand that we've had from customers there. So it's nice to see these relatively new markets um, getting a little more uh, involved and so, um, you know, over time, maybe we'll be adding a few more. I know there's probably some people in Europe who could um, benefit from a built-in theme as well, but everyone else who isn't on this list has our global website as well. So, and again, you can create your own pages, so you don't have to use our built-in one. It's pretty easy to uh, put together a nice looking page with those templates. So just wanted to, to announce those, you know, Macau, Malaysia, and Hong Kong as new, uh, new customer or new countries that we support through the website themes. And um, so there's, there's a couple other minor new features that I wanna mention here today before we wrap it up here. So I don't see any questions in the chat or Q&A. So um, after I'm done here, I'll just wrap it up. But, and I may have mentioned these a few weeks ago, but I just wanna mention them again in context of everything here. So there's now a little find box in here uh, in the context menu. It used to, I believe, be a create link, but we found that people weren't using that as much as we were, as people are finding. So if you wanna, find somebody by name, whatever, you can just type in their name and it'll go over ahead and uh, pull up a search for you. So it's always on every page. It saves a click of having to go to manage and then type in the box. This is just an easier way to get right to uh, who you're looking for. And um, I know you can even click, click edit now. This is a new, relatively new feature where it'll take them right to the edit page rather than having to click on the contact first to go there. Um, a couple of other little things. Uh, you can see here this contact has a photo. I think I touched on that in a different training. You can actually add contact photos. And I don't recall last time whether or not we had uh, covered this, but I think there's, there's a files uploader now as well. So you can actually attach files to a contact. If you have, I don't know, you know, if you, if you do any like coaching or something with, with them, you could always upload a contract or uh, maybe you've got some other information related to them. Maybe they've uh, filled out some form at an event that you want to scan and upload here. You could do that as well. Just kind of a nice resources area for you to uh, cover. So 
yeah, so with that, I'll open it up for Q&A. Um, if there's anything from anyone, um, you know, if, if I don't see anything, we will be back next week again. Ashley will be back next week and we'll be doing um, some training. And, and as always, if you have any questions that you want to cover on one of the weekly work sessions, uh, just send us an email at info at gatoiling.com. We can, uh, you know, we'll talk about it. And sometimes, you know, a lot of the training that we've had has actually been uh, com coming from questions that people have sent in. So we really appreciate that. Uh, I know we did a training recently on time management that came from uh, somebody that emailed in. So that was a great suggestion. So if you have any others, uh, certainly feel free to email them in. Uh, Denise asks, is there a way to batch update contacts? And so uh, what I can, there is a bulk update of sorts it may not be what um, what you're looking for if you're looking to update like specific fields but let's say you want to batch update either all of these people there, there's a couple of things you can or a few things you can do to them like this actions menu this ad campaign follow-up plan vault or tags is sort of a bulk edit and it, it again it depends on what you're looking to do if like if you're looking to batch update um, city or something there's no bulk editor for contact information but you can bulk add or remove campaigns follow-up plans tags or vaults so if you want to bulk tag people you can do that um, and you can do that either by um, by doing a you can either just all the filtered contacts which is what this does here or if you select contacts at this little checkbox you can see the menu changes a little bit and there's some more options here where you can say oh i want to you know add to the selected contacts because then once you've selected contacts the menu is split out into two sections here all contacts and selected so in this case i'll say this and now this will operate on those two contacts um, and so that'll that'll do that and uh, so yeah hopefully that answers your question um, you know if not let me know susie asks can a sway file be put into a blog um, so yes, you can. I think we covered that. I don't, let me see if I have a, oh, what's a Sway URL here? Let me see if I can find one quick. Uh, I think I might have one here. Let's see. Um, okay, yes. I think this is one that we've, I had. Uh, so I'll grab this link here. And for those of you who are interested, so, so what Sway is, and we did kind of a little training on this uh, a few weeks ago. Sway is a, it's a tool, it's a free tool from Microsoft that lets you essentially create an online document. It's sort of, I would say it's sort of like a PDF if you're familiar with that, but it has the advantage of being what's called mobile responsive. In other words, it works on mobile devices as well as it does on big screen, you know, desktops and tablets. So it's really nice in that regard. And it's sort of like a page builder, um, you know, cause it's, it's pretty similar. Uh, this one, I believe, can, comes from GrowWorkspace.com. They have a pretty awesome uh, resource, you know, monthly membership where they give you resources like this way. So anyway, back to uh, Susie's question here about blogging. So yeah, you should be able to insert these anyway, uh, you know, basically anywhere there's an editor in the site. So like I said, the post, I believe uh, you can click this little embed URL link. There's two ways of doing it. This embed URL link is probably the easiest. Um, the other way is a little more complicated and I, uh, it requires a couple extra steps and it's only available on the premium plan. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But if you're at basic or higher, there should be this embed URL link. And if I go ahead and paste it, what that's gonna do, cross my fingers, okay, it's working here. Um, it inserts this way right into your blog post. And so you can, um, you can then go ahead and publish it or whatever you'd like to do with it. Now the, you know, when you do use the insert or this embed URL button here, it says powered by Embedly on the bottom. Maybe not ideal, um, but that's available at the basic and higher plan. I believe over here, like if I, if I go back to the Sway itself and click share, yeah, so this is for, if you're on the premium or higher plan and get oiling, you can actually do this a different way that doesn't have that powered by link on it. And so uh, click on the share button inside your Sway click on this get embed code link and it'll, it'll give you some code looking stuff here and just click this copy to clipboard button. It'll tell you it's copied. Come back over here and I'm just gonna start a new blog post cause I already have a sway in there. And the feature that's available on premium or higher is uh, this 
code view button. And so what you can do, let's say you want something else or some text there. Let's say check out babies and oils or whatever. So let's say you've got some text already on there and you know, maybe you got to sign up here or whatever, but in the middle you want to have a, uh, the sway. So click this code view, make sure that you're not in the middle of a word. doesn't really matter. Uh, but just as long as you're not in the middle of one of these little bracket things and then paste whatever that it came from sway. So this is basically what the sway had here. So paste that in here, just paste a bunch of code in there, click the little code view button to get back out of it. And then you'll see that the sway appears here. And it does not have the powered by embed lay on that. So that is one advantage of using the, uh, or uh, uh, the premium plan with that. So yeah, hopefully that, um, that works for you, Susie. Um, okay, so next question we've got here is from Kathy. I was having trouble getting my lead magnet linked to my prospects page. Um, yeah, Kathy, maybe if you wanna email me in on, or email in on that one or give me more information here, um, we can cover that uh, or I can help you out on, on support as well with that. So that's probably something, you know, cause there is another, there is another uh, way to use landing pages, which is I think it also training we've covered to create, to capture leads as well. So cool. Uh, I think that's all of the, all the questions that have come in here today. So hopefully this was helpful for you and uh, showed you a few ways to customize your website and take it to the next level with some of those cool little hidden features like the, uh, you know, uh, under the customize my site where there's an extra section and, and uh, being able to customize the photos and the themes and even you know dive behind the scenes of a very nice looking website that one of our one of the good online customers has put together. So with that, um, thank you so much for your time today and uh, have a wonderful rest of your week.